I've been escorting for 10 years on and off. I first started escorting when I was at university and one day my friend just said to me, oh, I know a girl and she gets loads of money for escorting. And I was only 18 at the time. And naively, I thought it was just going for dinner with men. It was more of a sugar baby role I had in my head. When I got to my first job, I soon realised that it was definitely not. Since then, obviously, there's been a lot of jobs and I try and block them out. I can't remember all of them. I don't know how many people I've had sex with. It's probably thousands. During COVID, the hotels are actually still open secretly. Yesterday, I booked a hotel. It's basically like a brothel. Everyone does it there. In the first few months of the lockdown, I actually didn't do any meets, but luckily some old clients had managed to find me again. It didn't really stop anyone. Clients were still meeting. Escorts were still booking the hotels. No one was scared of the virus. I swear, when it comes to sex, men do not give a shit. They will seriously just do anything. A guy was like, do you want to give me COVID? Like, tell me you want to give me COVID and make me die. I was spitting on him and coughing on him. And then afterwards, he's like, did you get tested? Have you got COVID? And I was just like, you fucking weirdo. I've had other weird stuff. So a big one is um, hard sports. And that's shitting. People eating shit, having shit on them. The weirdest one I had was a guy that wanted me to save us a week's worth of shit in a freezer and go to a domination dungeon with him and he poured it all over himself and then I was just standing there calling him a literal piece of shit and he was just rubbing it all over himself, wanking. Another weird one is um, puking. You can be like the submissive one, giving them a blowjob and puking on them, or they could be the submissive one and you're puking on them, saying you're a piece of shit, like, I'm puking on you, look at you, you're disgusting. A lot of people do ask for bareback, which is a very scary thing because um, STI is obviously prevalent in society and you just never know. And I've actually had a few scares and it's like, why would you ask an escort for a bareback me when you know that she could have fucked 10 guys that day? They don't give a shit. As, as you grow older and get more experience, obviously you know your boundaries and you know, but when you're first into it, you do get pressured a lot to do things that you may not be so comfortable with. Every client you see puts you at risk. When they pay the money and want a certain service, they're happy with it until after they come and then they feel like a dickhead and they want their money back. And you never know when someone's gonna have a psychotic attack. It's a risky business. One day, um, I got into a bad situation where I got locked in the room. There were three guys, they all had sex with me and then they didn't pay me. After that situation, I ended up calling the police straight away. The guys actually got convicted and one of them went to prison. Basically, it feels like you get raped when you have had sex under the impression that you're gonna get paid and then the guy takes the money back and you feel like you fucking shithead. I'm not fucking you for free. I'm not doing this for fun, especially at three o'clock in the morning. Some of the girls who are like illegal in the country or being pimped out and stuff, they are definitely too scared to go to the police. You have to have like four layers of skin in this job. You have to have very thick skin. Men can't go to a normal girl and tell them, I want you to shit on me or I want you to force me to suck a cop. They have to go to escorts for this sort of stuff. Like the guy that comes to me to eat my shit, he's not going to ask his wife to shit so he can eat it. So a lot of them have actually come to me talking about their wife the whole time and saying, my wife's like this, my wife's like that, this is what I do, and justifying it to me. And I don't really care. I don't need justification of why you're booking me. I just want the money. But obviously they feel guilty in a way. That's why they have to explain themselves. When you're an escort, you start to think every man does this and it gives you really trust issues. A lot of young people do it as well. You'd expect it to be people that aren't good looking, can't get girls, people that have confidence issues. It's not like that at all. Some of my biggest clients who spend on me regularly are very good looking young guys. Some of them are drug dealers, they've got a lot of money to spend and they just want a late night fuck and they don't want to have to go through the whole pulling up someone they know and all that. So they just do it for convenience. It's just a sad world that we live in that you can earn so much money from literally selling your body and if you've got a normal job and you work damn hard, you can't even get close to the figures that you see. Over the years, I've definitely made, I've hit a million. I've had so much designer clothes, luxurious holidays, 
beautiful things and it doesn't buy happiness. I need some life changing things to happen now because otherwise I'm going to be stuck in a cycle and I'm 40 years old still fucking men for money, which I do not want. It's bad enough as it is that you stoop that low in yourself. And you have to be a very strong person, especially to not take drugs while doing this job, because you see a lot of shit. And also, it's very depressing and lonely, and you live a lie. When I was younger, I used to be a bit more open about it, but I found very quickly that people don't want to talk to you if you are a sex worker. It's not a respected job. It, it's something you don't feel proud of like, shouting out to everyone. And sometimes I think I've got PTSD because I literally get flashbacks sometimes of just random times um, of different clients. And I had a goal in my head that I wouldn't be doing it past a certain age. And I really don't want to be doing it after that age because I want to have children and have a normal life. That's really all I want. But I do want to be rich.